During our visit at South Mississippi Light Aircraft, or SMLA for short, we sat in on the road tax maintenance course. Today, we'll show you how to do a pull test to check the gearbox on a road tax 912. So when we go to lock the crankshaft, we're looking for this V here in the, in the crank so we can put our locking pin in. We only want to use the Rotex locking pin because it's a special hardness and if we use anything else we run the risk of breaking it off inside the engine. So what we want to do is I'm going to show you guys, take you a flashlight, look down inside of it and let's see where we're at. Do you see that V over there? Yeah, well I see the notch. All right, take, let me see my tools. So what I want you to do is work to work it back and forth just a little bit. Oh yeah. And you can see it. And I want everybody. Well, I see the edge of it and then it goes away. So All right, let me make sure, let me notch. verify what you're looking at. See. So what we're gonna do here is we've got our 30 degree action here. We wanna get the leading edge of the prop on the high side against the ramp. You can buy these for your luggage. Most of you may have a luggage scale at home and it has a nice tape measure on it too. So we're gonna measure two foot out to here. And another luggage scale that I do have has a nice little wrapping thing on it like this already. So you can use the whole scale to do the whole procedure. So now, we're going to hook into and we're going to pull in the direction of rotation. We're going to read our poundage here. And I'm pulling 15. So that's actually 30. So this gearbox needs to come off and be re -shimmed. So. So you, so you turn it opposite the direction of rotation. Because of Correct. Because you're not turning the engine. Right. It's foot pounds. Because it's two feet out. You're two feet out. The book okay. gives you the reading at one foot. Okay. But we go two foot for Make ease of measurement. Yeah. So we could actually come back in and go one foot and get the reading, but we have to pull harder at that. So if we come back one foot, say it's right there. Slide in. Do our pull. 25, 30, and it broke about 33. Maybe just working smarter, not harder. Right. So when it, so when it breaks, it's that's, what's that's the best where you get your measurement. Well, on it, high, high 30s, 40s. So it's a little yeah. low. It's a little low, yes. High 30s is what you're looking You can find high 30. slider that stop at the max. So let's put this back up here at two foot and check it again. So, yes, sir. In pounds. It's in pounds. So, we want to pull again. And I'm actually reading, you know, the same as I was there, I'm actually reading 16 and a half, 17. We are partnering with great companies like Dynon Avionics at Dynon.com, AirTech Coatings at AirTechCoatings.com. Clemens Insurance at ClemensInsurance.net South Mississippi Light Aircraft at FlySMLA.com Foxtrot 95 Calhoun County Airport at FlyFoxtrot95.com Edge Performance at EdgePerformance.no Take a moment to go visit their websites at the links found below in the description of this video. And visit our website at ExperimentalAircraftChannel.com for events, our video library arranged in easy to find playlists on specific topics and so much more. Coming up in a future episode, we'll go over some class time, spark plug changes and even oil changes on the Rotax line of engines.